Welcome everyone to another edition of Play It Through. An honest edition, it's Mick Kids, brought to us by Virgin. Mick Kids is a platformer where you play as Mick and Mac, who are trying to help Ronald McDonald get his bag back. Along with that, you have to collect cards in the stages in order to progress to the next areas. In this run of the game, I will be doing a 100% run, so I will be getting every one of the cards and completing every one of the stages. So here we go with Mick Kids for the NES. You can play the game one or two player. I'm going to be playing as just myself, of course, here as we get our opening cutscene before getting into the game. Once we get control at the map screen, we're going to move on down to level number one. A lot of levels in the game are relatively short, but you still have to keep your eyes peeled for those cards. As we begin, we're going to work our way up these platforms to this one right here, and then run down here and grab the first of the cards. This is one of the weird things you can do in the game, is running on these, and it kind of makes you upside down. you got to be careful when you're upside down, but fun nonetheless. Then we're going to just finish up the rest of the stage by going over to the right side. Every time you finish a level and you have a card, it'll tell you which card you ended up finding so you know which one you've gotten. We start with only getting the Ronald McDonald ones, but later on we potentially get secret cards as well as cards for other levels in other places. Some stages have two cards for you to locate. Here we're going to jump up here using the spring to bounce up and grab the second card of the game. Get inside this little boat thing and move yourself across the water, being careful. And hit the exit. Level number three, as we begin, we're going to head over to the right side, watch out for the enemy, jump over him if you need to, or pick up the blocks and throw it at him. Use the leaf platforms to bounce your way up here. You want to kind of like jump off of it and get yourself up to here. Continue over to the right a little bit, and then what you want to do is do a jump up in the air, and you can hit the card, just barely, but you can actually hit it from this platform. After you have the card, keep going to the right to finish up the level. In stage 4, we're going to start by running all the way over to the right side quite a bit. Then go up onto this platform, you'll find the next card. Go ahead and grab that, and then just finish up the level just a few steps more. In the next level, start off by heading off over to the right side just a little bit in. We'll make it to this platform here. We're going to wait a moment for leaves to start coming down, and we can use the leaves as platforms to work our way up to the top. Once up here, be careful of the enemies and continue over to the right side. Grab the card and drop on down. Jump over this enemy at the top of the tree. And then just finish up the level. The next stage, I accidentally forget to get one of the cards. I have to come back later on in the game, so when we get to the end of the game and I need the one card, I'll then end up coming back and grabbing it. It's actually right...
up here when you go all the way up to the top. But I drop on down and grab this card instead of going back up and grabbing the second one. I forgot to go do that. It's so easy to forget one of the cards in this game. Thankfully, the level is extremely short, so when we come back later on in the run, we'll be able to get that card pretty quickly. That is the last of the cards, though, that we need for Ronald, so we're going to head back to Ronald, talk to him, and he'll open up the path to Birdies. As you can see, Birdies is a cloud kind of themed level. And we're going to start heading over to the right to begin the level and then get up on this platform and jump all the way over to the left side doing a large jump using the momentum and get to the first card of Birdies Place. From there, you want to ride this moving cloud platform up here. Jump along the platforms to the right side and then continue over to the right making a big leap over to the clouds. Just keep on running and leaping and you'll make yourself over to the end of the level. Next up is an ice level, so be careful. Also, anytime you see these little things with the arrows pointing to the left, if you hit them, they send you flying back to the beginning of the level, so you want to be careful of them. Use the spring to bounce up to the top platform and grab the card for this stage. Then be very careful moving up these snow platforms. They can be extremely annoying trying to actually get up them. And then just drop on down to finish up the level. Next up in Birdie's Treehouse, we're inside of this ice cave. We're going to start heading over to the right side and grab this extra life just for the fun of it. Drop on down to the bottom level. Grab this card, which we will finish up the level when grabbing. There's another card located here, though. We'll come back in a little while and grab a hold of that second card there. In the next level, drop on down these clouds over here. And then run all the way over to the right side. And grab the card. You can then just bounce your way off the spring right here to get back up to the surface. Make a big leap over here onto the platforms with the clouds, just carefully making your way to each one, and make your way to the exit. Level number 5 is another one of the Ice Cave themed levels. Head to the right and just onto this platform and you'll find yourself the card. Use the blocks to take out these enemies, or just very carefully jump to the platforms with them. Taking out enemies using the blocks, you can earn extra pieces of health, so it's well worth taking out certain enemies, especially once you've gotten hit a few times. Next level, we're going to drop on down here, breaking all these platforms, and then drop into the very bottom. Head over to the right side, and what you want to do is bounce off of this spring and get up here, 
and then jump over to the clouds and you can bounce off the next spring up. You just gotta be careful when you do this that you hold right so that you can get to the next area and up to the next platform. Just keep using the springs to help you get up. Sometimes you gotta get a little extra momentum in order to actually hit the spring. Right here, you can see the card. Just go ahead and pick that up before continuing over to the right side on these little platforms to the goal. Every so often, you will end up getting a bonus game once you've reached that 100 arches. For this one, we're just going to bounce on top of the arrows that end up showing up each time. Hitting the correct arrow will send them up, hitting the wrong arrow will put the ones back down, and your goal is just to get to the very top, however you can. Once you have them high enough, you'll be able to get to that top platform, and then go through the zipper. Okay, here you'll be dropped off onto some extra lives. You can pick them up if need be. You can only grab probably three, maybe four at the most if you're really careful. Before we continue on, we're going to drop on back to level three and get the card that we missed here. If you're wondering why I didn't just do this for that other level, I didn't remember I missed that one until much later. Because that one is for a different set of levels, so it's it wasn't as noticeable. We're going to climb up all of these blocks and get up to the top here. Keep on climbing to the very top where you will find a zipper. The zipper will take you right to the card. And then just head back and drop on down to finish up the level. Thankfully, once you've gotten a card, it disappears from the level. It doesn't end up reappearing to kind of trick you or anything. That is the first of the secret cards that we end up getting. And we need the secret cards to go to the secret world. We're going to stop by birdies now since we have all of what we need and uh, Birdie will end up opening up the next path. Stop by Grimace's and talk to him first before going into his levels. As the next level begins, we're in the cliffs here, and we're going to start climbing up the set of platforms up to the top. Run all the way over to the left, doing a big leap, and you'll come across the next card. Grab it, be careful when you're dropping down that you don't fall all the way. Run across this bridge and do a big leap, and you can get up into the clouds. You can go in that zipper if you like, but it's just going to lead you to a little area that you don't necessarily need to go to. We're just going to continue over to the right side, drop on down, and hit the exit. As soon as the next level begins, drop it down the left side. And then what you want to do is go all the way over to the right here on this bridge, making a leap across, and you'll find yourself the next card. Be careful of the moose enemy as you're making your way back, and climb back up to the top and continue to level like normal. You just gotta be careful on this bridge, of course, as it's falling. Here you can hit this spring and bounce your way back up. You want to do that in order to get up to this platform. And then continue all the way over to the right side on here to grab the next card. So 
so that's both cards for this level. As we begin level 3, take out this enemy, and we're going to drop down, watching out for the next couple of enemies. Then, right after them, is the next card. Work your way back a little bit, just being careful once again. And then start climbing your way on top of the trees. Just jump between each one. When you make it to here, drop down. You can hit this spring and it'll bounce you up to the top of these trees. And then you can jump. It's hard to do, but jump along these trees in order to get over to the right side. This is where you'll find the next card. Then all you need to do is drop on down to finish the level. Next up is level 4, the last of the first half of Grimace's stages, and then we'll go back and he'll open up the area so we can go to the second part. We're going to go along the top part of this, watching out for the waterfalls. You can pick up this block and use it to take out the enemy, of course. Here, ride this platform on down. It'll slowly start moving around, just stay on top of it as it's riding around, and eventually it will lead you to the card. Once you have the card, just hit the exit and move back to Grimace's house in order to open up that path. Head back and then down here and you can get to level 5. Jump inside the little boat thing and move your way over to the right, slowly watching out for the fish every few seconds. You can pick up the block and actually carry it and then use it over here to continue on. When you jump out of the water, be careful moving your way up the platforms. What we need to do is get over here to pick up this platform and then get back up on top and you may need to get the platform to respawn because it can be hard to get up here. So back up and come back and you should have that platform back to where it is. And that way you can climb up and you just need to get to the top of this pillar so you can fill in the clear block. Then climb on top of it and use it to ride across over to the right and you'll find yourself at the location of the next card. From there, drop on down, hit this block, and then pick up the boat and throw it over here so you can use it to get across this little bucket boat thing. Next up, we're going to start by heading all the way over to the left side, dropping down, and you'll find yourself at one of these zippers. Head inside, and then climb up and grab the card, and then you can just finish the level. We are going to come right back into the stage as there's another card to get, but it's just, this is how you end up getting at least one of them. Head back inside the level and continue like you would normally in the stage, heading over to the right side. We're going to pick up the little bucket boat thing here and use that to go to the right. Pick it up and carry it on top and then use it on top of the waterfall and you can actually ride across in this little, little basket thing and get an extra life as well as a card. 
from there, just continue over to the right and you'll find the exit. We are now at the professor's levels. We're going to start by running over to the right here in the first level, watching out for all of the falling down meteors here crashing. And then we're going to drop down into the water and quickly work our way over to the left side. You can do this easier by finding a bucket and doing the whole thing, but you can do it just jumping into the water and mashing the jump button. You can swim. After getting the card, we're going to continue over to the left, go through the zipper, and then dig our way through the sand in order to get down and out of this area. We'll be back at the start of the level, so we'll just continue on the stage as normal. Watching out once again for the falling meteors coming down. Here you're going to pick up this block and then use it while holding on to it to bounce yourself up because you're weighted, you bounce more, and that way you can get up here and grab the next card and then finish a level. As soon as we begin the next level, we're going to start by digging inside of here. Head on down, watching out for the drill, and over to the right side. Here you'll find one of these blocks that we can then fill in, one of those clear blocks, or silhouettes of a block. Take it back to the beginning and use it, and that way you can climb on up. Once on top of here, what you want to do is start building your little sand thing. You want to make stairs using the sand. It's a little bit tricky, but you want to kind of like dig a couple of spots down and then move over and keep digging until at least you have these little platforms set up. Then head back up. Run along this platform so that you go upside down. Then dig a little bit more and then use the stairs you just created with the sand to work your way down. This way you can get over to the left side, watching out for the springs, and get to the card. From there, head back and just reverse the gravity, and continue on. Run along the sand here, dig another little bit. Be careful not to dig here so you don't fall down into the big pit. And just a few more jumps before you make it to that exit. As we get to the next level, we're going to start by heading off over to the right side. Here you'll find a fake exit. What you want to do is jump over the fake exit and continue over to the right side. Here you'll find one of those silhouette potential blocks. Take that and carry it back over to the left side. Once again, jumping over the fake exit. Thankfully, if you throw it or it gets knocked out of your hands, you can pick it back up. All the way at the very beginning of the level, you'll find that block moving up and down, so use that there, and then work your way up. Use the block to destroy this net thing here so that you can continue over to the right easily without taking damage. And make your way over to the zipper. 
from the zipper, head over to the leaf, jumping over, and then dropping down here to get the next card. From that point, just continue over to the right side and you'll finish up the level. Next up, we're going to start heading over to the right side and digging down into the sand. Work your way across the right, watching out for the fish jumping out of the water, and then climb your way up the sand. Open up the sand things and wait for the enemy to bypass you by jumping over it. Jump along these platforms, taking the top path, and you'll find yourself the next card. Then go back and jump into the water, but you want to do so close to the left wall here. Drop down here and then go left, and you have a better opportunity of making it over here easily. Head inside the zipper, and then over to the left side where you will find the next card. Drop down and finish the level. One more level left to go in the Professor's Workshop, this boat-themed level, and there's two cards for us to get here. We're going to start going along the top parts of the platforms where you'll find that first card. Once that you have, grab the block and take that down to the bottom area and head to the right, and then use it on one of those platforms that helps you when it's weighted to spring you really high up into the air, and that way you can grab the next card and finish up the level. Now we're on the moon, after meeting Cosmic, we're gonna head to the first Cosmic's levels. Here you have like no gravity, so it's a little interesting. We're gonna use this platform here to spring our way all the way over to the right side using a big leap, and if you do it right, you can get to the first card. The second card's a little harder to get, we're gonna go in here, use another one of those blocks to fill in, and then you wanna stand on top of the card and hit it so that when you end up getting it and dropping, you land safely on the moving platform back and forth. From there, just head back out and up. You may need to do a big leap in order to get enough momentum to get high enough. Here, do another big running leap and we can do a couple of them real quick. All the way over to the right side to finish up the level. The next level begins, we're going to start by going to the left, pick up this block, and we can just use that to help us take out this one enemy, or at least hit it. Make a big leap over to the right so you can get inside of this tunnel, and you'll find yourself a zipper at the end. Head inside, and then over to the right, you want to make a leap over to the right platforms. Get rid of these blocks, and then drop down. Working your way along to the right, and you'll find yourself the card.
Next up, start by making a big leap to the right side over these springs. Then drop down, you gotta do a small jump, which is difficult with the gravity, but a small jump to get to the card here. From there, use the springs, the spring upwards. Keep going up, ignore the exit for now, and keep going higher up, and you can get to this platform up here using the springs, and find yourself the second card here, and then drop on down to the exit. For the next level, start by going to the left side, pick up this block, and you'll fall through the opening there. As you continue to fall on down, work your way to the left so that when you fall, you hold right on the D-pad, and you can land on this platform with a zipper, go through it, and find yourself a card. From that point on, continue downwards, watching out for the springs as you fall so they don't keep bouncing you back up. And make your way to the exit at the very bottom. Now with everything we need from Cosmic, head back to that, and we'll be sent to the volcano where the Hamburglar is. So this is the final area of the game. There's four stages. We're going to complete the first three first, then go and unlock the fourth one. But before we complete it, we're going to go back and get the last card that we need, as well as do the secret levels. Here you need to ride along the lava using this block, throwing it into the lava and then jumping on top of it, watching out for the other little fires that are going to come towards you, the flaming rock-like things. Just ride it all the way over to the right side, stay on it. At the end, climb up these platforms and jump over to the right side with a big leap and grab the card. Then just drop and finish the stage. For the next level, you have to use these things going the opposite direction on them. We'll make them go where you want pretty much. Ride it along the track up, slowing down a little bit because of fire now and then. Jump off when you make it here and then make it to the next one. Make sure you have this block and then get on here and ride it up to the top. Jump to the next one and ride this one across the lava. Then throw it into the lava and ride across. Get rid of all these blocks right here, blocking your path. You'll find yourself on another one of these little machines. Ride this one downwards and get to the exit. But before you get to the exit, make sure you jump off at the right moment to grab the card. The next level, level 3 here in Hamburglar's Hideout, the cards here are difficult to get for sure. As we begin, we're going to jump to this bridge which starts to burn up as we do. We're going to run along and what you need to do for the first one is jump on these blocks and then do a nice leap over to the right side to grab the card. You'll grab it in midair. It's hard to do, takes a lot of practice, but you can do it. And the last of the cards right there is at the end of the area, as you can see, you can jump up and grab it. Be careful here, you want to hit this arrow for once, and it'll send you flying all the way over to the left side at the beginning of the stage, but that allows you then to get on this vehicle. Ride the contraption over far enough until you can get onto the second one by jumping up, being careful when you do your jump. You'll have to do a second jump here to the next one. 
and then ride this one over to the end of the level. So after talking to Hamburglar, we have the final level unlocked, but we're going to go ahead and go to the special stages. But first, we need to get that last card that I didn't grab from the uh, Ronald set of levels back at the beginning of the game. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long to travel back to that starting point of the game. So for level 6, the one that I missed is actually very easy for us to get. We're going to climb on up the trees. Use the block when needed to take out the enemy and then jump across the last couple of trees to hit the card and then jump on down to finish the level. Now that we have all of the cards that we need, go talk to Ronald and Ronald will take us to the secret area. Here we go with level 1 here in the secret area. No cards to collect, just have to finish the level. We're going to start by picking up this block and then use it to ride our way up here. You can see there's tons of fake exits. And if you hit a fake exit, you do exit the stage. It just doesn't count as the stage being beaten. Keep this block with you a little while. You're going to bounce off of this spring upwards. Make the leap over to the right side and then drop on down. Use the block right here on this one of silhouettes. Then get over here, you'll pick up another one of those blocks. Use it on the silhouette above the spring here. Then make a nice leap up to the top. And you want to be a big leap over the arrows so they don't point you back to the beginning. Do the same thing here, watching out for them. Dropping on down after using the little Ronald helicopter and jumping over to the exit. Definitely a confusing level for sure. Level number two starts off with one of those Ronald helicopter platform things going. So we're going to jump on that, ride it up a little bit, and then jump to the next one. keep riding it, you'll have to jump between these platforms and the like, which is a little bit difficult for sure, just stay persistent with it. Jump over here and you'll find a zipper. Head inside, and what you want to do is jump over to the far left side, doing a big leap, and you can get up high. And then just continue up the little hill slants and get to the exit.
So for this next level, just follow the path I take through the zipper doors. We're going to start by going to the right door, then the same door that we just took, the same door again, then the left door. Then you want to go to the right by jumping into the next door. Go through the same door that you just went in. Then the next one, the same one, and you're right at the exit. From there, we now have to backtrack a little bit through the game and work our way back to the Hamburglar's hideout area and complete that final stage where we will uh, take on a boss, the only little boss of the game, and get the magic bag back. As soon as the level begins, bounce off the spring and get to the bridge, run across and grab the block. Throw it up into the air here and we're going to use it to just get across the lava the last little bit. Climb up, watching out for the fire that's falling down. And to that next bridge, run across and drop on down to the boss area. This big pile of rocks you can keep picking up rocks from. For the first form, just start throwing your rocks at them. It takes two hits to take out each one of these. After you've taken out enough, the next form begins with the wand moving back and forth. You can throw the rocks upwards at the wand, just be careful of his firing when they fire downwards in a diagonal direction. You can get out of the way pretty easily, but still gotta be careful of it nonetheless. Especially with trying to focus on throwing the rocks up high enough in order to hit the boss. Once that boss is done, then the rabbit shows up. Just pick up the blocks and throw them at the rabbit going underneath of it when it jumps. And then you can just pick up the bag, and you can sit back and enjoy the ending to Nick Kids. So there you have it, Mick Kids for the NES, one of those platformers that drove me kind of nuts as a kid because I had a hard time finding some of those cards for sure. But it's one that I've been wanting to do for a video for a long, long time, and I'm glad I was finally able to get it done. Here we go at the end, we get from all of us at Virgin Games, thank you for playing. And with that, that will also wrap up this episode of Play It Through, where I will thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.